making 14 karat gold jump rings the hard way since I can't I don't have enough here to get a grip on them to make the saw work so I'm using nippers one at a time to cut them off See where's the camera? There you go. Jump rings. 14 karat gold jump rings. And because there's only a few here, the saw wasn't picking them up. So I'm having to hand cut them. And it is raining off and on outside, and there's all kinds of noises going on out there. When I came out, the trees were going absolutely bananas. All right, now those are done. See, the, even the air conditioner's confused. Now I'm going to turn this. Hopefully it'll pick up. It's completely falling over. Alright, since I was running out of sterling silver jump rings, I figured it was best that I needed to make some. And usually my dad is the one to do this, not me. Because I absolutely hate doing this part. My dad's always like, you're going to cut your finger off. Well, especially when the jump rings move like they are right now. It's the only time I worry about cutting myself. Because this saw blade is no joke. And the spring. Best I start down here at the other end, maybe when it's not so springy. Man, this thing just don't want to work at all today. I'm going to bend that sucker like a slinky. Man, I can't get that sucker to work at all. Maybe the blade is dull. No, I'm going to screw it. Nippers it is. on this camera. Once you get a lot of phones. And since it's easier to keep all my jump rings in here because it's an airtight container, pill bottles always work the best. And you can actually go to like Publix and get these or you can order them online. That way you know that your sterling silver is not going to be exposed to any oxygen. Because as you know, Sterling turns dark, and I've, I've had some people ask me questions lately about that. They're like, well, why does sterling silver get dark? And I was like, well, just like with everything else, as soon as oxygen hits it, it changes. What happens to silver is it oxidizes, and as it oxidizes, it gets dark. You see how dark my finger is? That's from handling the silver. It's what we call dirty. It's not technically that the sterling silver itself is dirty, like, you know, with dirt on it, which I'm from Florida. Most people here do not understand that concept. 
Um, when they think of dirty, they think of something that's unwashed or unclean. Well, that's not always the case. It just means that oxygen's gotten to it, and it's gotten darker, and just like with anything oxygen, oxygen touches, um, it does change the chemical composition of things, just like with, you know, iron, um, it rusts. Once it oxidizes uh, to a certain point, it turns red. Copper, it, you know, turns blue. Brass, it turns green. Gold just gets a little darker, and sterling turns like this dark brown to a blackish color. So, um, sometimes depending on how much acid you have in your skin depends on how much your silver is going to tarnish over time. And I never recommend that anybody uses any of those dip polish cleaners. Um, there's many reasons for that. The reason, my reason being is that sometimes those cause um, chemical reactions. Usually it's because there's a sulfur compound inside of the cleaner and people don't realize that sulfur and sterling do not get along. And since I only had a little bit of wire left, I'm just kind of making a jump ring from what was left of that little piece stuck on the end. And this is just a rounded tool that we use to make something flat round because it's the piece that I'm using is completely round. We have them with their flat on the inside and round on the outside. That gives you what we call a half round. Uh, you can see them a little bit better. There you go. And then I've got these. And since I've got this piece stuck on the end, I'm just going to go ahead and do it while it's on here. And we have a, we have a tool that usually does this. It's a machine. I put the wire on it and I spin it with my hand and it causes the, the wire to turn to whatever gauge I need. Now this is six millimeter round. The other stuff I just cut was five millimeter round because I needed sterling silver jump rings made to that dimension. So now it's um you don't have any extra pieces hanging off. And because I don't feel like farting with the stall again, I'm just gonna use the nippers again and cut it. And I'm just going to cut it over my...